option very quickly here. They do. Nesbitt keeps it on the edge in the pitch. Anthony Allen, the transfer from Louisville. Blair. He's going to throw it. They got a fake and they got Thomas White up on the sidelines. All by himself down the sideline. Paul Johnson and his coaching staff are outstanding. They've been around, done it a long time, and that's excellent. Second down throw from Nesbitt. Lobs it downfield, but Thomas has it. Oh, look at this. this is what Josh Nesbitt has not done a great job of yet. All he's got to do is really just give him a chance. Again, six foot three. Yes. Watch for Anthony Allen over the middle of the field. Three's option. Nesbitt fires downfield to Thomas and has it. Johnson had it in his pocket. He had a plan. They start motion away from the single receiver, right? Gets a man to man. Demarius Thomas does a nice job. That was cover two by Clemson, meaning there were two safeties. Demarius Thompson runs toward the near safety, puts his foot in the ground, finds the side. He can afford it. Jackets for the third straight time on their 40, and Nesbitt a first down pass has Thomas, and they left him wide open. Bebe Thomas wrestled down in my we'll see Saturday night. Nesbitt on third and five. Fires along the sidelines and a completion. Catch to Johnson who finally gets involved. Or the various top play back in there. Third and nine. Nesbitt straight back. Looking downfield for Thomas. And the big guy goes up and makes a clutch catch over Sam Shields. We're first and go. Throw the football up and let the better player go get the football. Last week on deep throws, Josh Nesbitt underthrew the football. He held on to it too late. This time doing a nice job just getting it out, giving his guy a chance. And you know what? Thomas is one of those receivers that could be playing in any offense in the country with his athleticism. Catch. We saw him throw him to earlier today, but they failed to connect. Nesbitt on the roll. There he goes to Thomas Ford, a first down. Demarius catching. Have to honor it. You watch him, he's just going to run Lewis off, get his shoulders turned, his back turned, and then the comeback becomes an easy route as Leon Wright is just not able to react to it in time. And then a nice throw. And then they were an inch or two away from getting the ball back on the punt. Nesbitt back in to run the offense. He takes a deep shot to Demarius Thomas. Thomas one on one against Leon Wright. And game against Wake Forest. There you see the, the penalties. Took out a lot of early bad penalties last week. Demarius Thomas gets it. Thomas, another long pass play. And take it with the strength that he has. And watch how he kind of changes gears a little bit once he locates the football. Breaks it down, chokes it down, times it out, and beats Leon right into the end zone. Plus, for the year on third down, best in the ACC, third best in the country. And Nesbitt pass is complete with Demarius Thomas. He's up. Third down three. Good throw, Demarius Thomas uses the stiff arm. There he goes! They have an angle, but will they catch him? No! Touchdown, 76 yards! Like you said earlier, Vance Cup has got to be able to test. Yeah, he stopped his feet. He was beat right there. And then Rashad Jones, number nine, had the shot of the angle. Marius Thomas just ran right through it. Nesbitt. Started one way receiver. This time, Demarius Thomas, watch number eight. He's going to go in and dig out that safety. Oh, that's a good job right there on Brian Evans, number three. And again, if you can't block, you can't play at Georgia Tech. Demarius Thomas. And Nesbitt will throw it. And he has to throw it on the run. It is caught. Demarius Thomas. He said he essentially becomes a one-on-one -on -one inside. Now, he has to maintain the scheme. And he goes for the pick with Demarius Thomas. For Paul Johnson, given the history. Nesbitt trying to set up a screen. Demarius Thomas has running room. And he's very close. They get to Boykin. You're going to watch from the inside out. There it is. Miss the number who it is. Oh, it's, it's the left tackle. Left tackle, Brad Sellers does a great job. Now, Sellers is only 250 pounds playing at tackle. Not a big guy, but hey, from an upset win. Nesbitt, the one straight pass, has his man dropped, dropped! 
versus the zone, ran the corner off, Boykin was done, everything's right, right to the end. Well thrown ball, even look it in. Over and give him the next play call to be ready to go. Josh going to throw on the run. And <laughs> Another new light for this D here. See if they can come up with a stop on third and ten. Nesbitt walks one down. man. Thomas, he's got it. He might be gone. Touchdown. Just like that for number eight. Well, it was a double move. It was a little stop and go by Demarius Thomas. He's working one-on-one -on, -one on Kresden Butler. I'm not sure why on third and ten. You have no safety help over the top on the only real dangerous receiver that they've got in their offense right now. 